Now to some breaking news we've been working on for at least the last half hour or so. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia talking for the first time about the double murder in the labor and delivery unit at Methodist Hospital on Saturday. WFAA's senior crime and justice reporter Rebecca Lopez has been breaking developments on this all weekend and joins us now live from Dallas Police Headquarters with this breaking update. Rebecca. Well, Jason, Dallas Police and Methodist Police held a joint news conference to release the latest on this investigation. Also, Methodist has asked the Dallas Police Department to take control of this investigation on both the double homicide that occurred uh, at Methodist as well as the officer involved shooting. Now, Chief Eddie Garcia says that 30 year old Nestor Hernandez, the suspect in this case, had multiple parole violations in Dallas and one in Carrollton and was at one point sent back to prison but released again on on an ankle monitor. Garcia went through the timeline of what happened on Saturday as well, saying Hernandez was in the hospital and attacked his girlfriend. And when a caseworker tried to help, she was shot to death. Then a nurse tried to help and she too was shot. He says Hernandez was confronted by a Methodist police officer who shot him in the leg. According to court records, Hernandez is a habitual criminal with multiple felonies uh, dating all the way back to his juvenile years. But throughout the years, his cases have been plea bargained and he has gotten very light sentences, Jason, and that is very frustrating for the chief of police. The focus here today, of course, should be on the lives lost. On Saturday, we lost two healthcare workers who were going about their day caring for others. But as I stated publicly before, and I know you're going to ask it, in my opinion, this is a failure of our criminal justice system. A violent individual such as this should not have been on ankle monitor and should have remained in custody. And we know that in March, Hernandez was arrested by the Dallas Police Department and then by Carrollton Police in June. Uh, he was sent back to prison but was released again in September. We have a lot of questions for the Board of Pardons and Parole about why he was released on that ankle monitor. And according to them, he was given permission to go to the hospital. Well, we want to know why they gave him permission to go and why the hospital, according to at the press conference, the police chief says they were not informed that he was going to be there. And again, this is a very violent individual who has multiple felonies, Jason. And, and Rebecca, we heard some strong words there from the, the chief about 315 this afternoon. You've been covering ankle monitors for, for some time now. What does the chief want to see happen here as it comes to when, when it goes to uh, ankle monitors? I think what he does not want is to see violent offenders uh, who have uh, habitual offenders out on ankle monitors. We have covered multiple cases here in Dallas County where they have simply uh, slipped out of their ankle monitors, cut them off. Some have been on the run. In fact, there are some right now that are on the run that are wanted for murder and Chief Garcia and even the Dallas County commissioners say that it is very hard to also monitor uh, all of the people that are out right now. We know that as of May, when I last did the story, there were 800 hundred people on ankle monitors, the majority of them violent offenders and only 11 uh, employees at Dallas County that are able to track them. And so Garcia says, look, when you have violent offenders like this, they should either be in prison or in jail and should not be out on ankle monitors because they uh, he, according to him, simply don't work. Yeah, indeed. So good reporting there, Rebecca, and really strong words from the chief. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what actually comes of this uh, politically, but I'm sure something will happen. Rebecca, thank you so much.